The modern man is completely without will or agency. He is a leaf blown every which way the winds of modernity take him. Even his most basic thoughts and actions are under the control of external influence. The world controls him because he cannot control himself. Strength of will is the ability to exert control, to act or restrain in accordance with one's values. You exercise this willpower by choosing to do something and then doing it, or on the other side of the coin, choosing not to do something and then not doing it. It is that simple. This simple ability of self-regulation, as simple as it is, evades the modern man because it, like so many other things, is a muscle that needs to be exercised, that most people do not exercise. Here's an example. Two questions. What time is your alarm set for in the morning? And what time do you actually get out of bed? For many people, there can be as much as an hour difference between those two times. Their alarm may go off at 6 a.m., yet it is not until after hitting snooze four times that they actually get up and out of bed. Or for others, though they may awake once their alarm goes off, it takes them 20 to 30 minutes to get out of bed because the first thing they do after opening their eyes is grab their phone and start scrolling. What has happened here is that you have made a declaration to yourself to wake up at a certain time. That's what you do when you set an alarm and then you have failed to follow through with it. As a result, you have weakened the power of your will and you have weakened your trust in yourself. This might not sound like a big deal, but it is, because this is something that becomes an everyday habit. There are people who do this every single day. They start every day by wasting an hour and by losing to their alarm. What I would ask this person who undoubtedly, hopefully, has some sort of goal or high aspiration is, is how exactly do you expect to achieve those dreams, or do anything for that matter, if you cannot make yourself get out of bed in the morning. In order to control and influence the world around you, you must first be in control of yourself. Your control must start somewhere in order to move outward. What self-control does is it makes you solid and unmoving. It is through rigidity that you protect yourself from outside influence. It is sturdiness that enables you to affect the world rather than the world affecting you. Think about it like this. Imagine trying to lift a weight off of the ground with a rigid handle versus a flexible band. No matter how strong you are or how hard you pull on that band, the weight will not move. This is what lack of self-control does to your efforts. Though you may have desire, though you may really want something, your efforts will be in vain because the slightest resistance will make you bend and fold. As soon as the task at hand becomes too challenging, out comes the phone for the quick dopamine, two hours later, nothing is done. And all your precious free time is gone. Let's contrast this with the solid handle. The solid handle gives you something to pull on. Though the weight may be heavy, because you now have a vehicle through which to drive force, you now have a fighting chance. You now have the ability to work and strengthen that muscle. It is through rigidity and solidity that force is driven. When a lifter is going to move a weight, he tightens up, he makes himself solid so that he can drive force and exert control. This is self-control. It is through self-control that you become unmoving against the pressures of the modern world. It is through self-control that you persevere through the periods of difficulty without bending or breaking, without turning back on your word. A man without self-control cannot make himself solid. He is like the band. The world will move him more than he can move the world. It is important to be able to adapt and change, to be able to bend without breaking. That is not the same as yielding. That is not the same as throwing away your values and beliefs as soon as they become difficult. It is being like a tree that can sway in the wind without falling over. It can sway if it needs to, but 
Its roots are deep. Your average modern man is not like the tree. He is like the leaf. The leaf cannot stand on its own. It is blown away in the wind. The modern man has no beliefs. He has no opinions. He has no foundation on which to stand. He has no anchoring to hold him steady. He changes and conforms to what is around him. He becomes the group consensus, as he is unwilling to stand on his own for anything. This is a choice. Willpower is a muscle you choose to neglect. As difficult as the pressures of the world may be, you choose to eat that fast food you said you wouldn't eat. You choose to open the app you know will steal hours of your time, though you have something you need to do. And as warm and comfortable as your bed is in the morning, it is you who chooses when and how you start your day. It is you who chooses how you do anything. It is you who decides whether you are someone who acts or someone who is acted upon. It is you who chooses to be either a leaf or a tree. And just to make it clear, there is a correct answer.